Welcome to the news film of Oscomira Group, edition September 2013. Lean Logistics. Project ASR in Utrecht. Largest flat roof solar park in the Netherlands. Lean Logistics is a philosophy aimed at realizing maximum value for the customer with the least possible waste. Wij werken volgens het Lean principe. Dat wil zeggen dat wij voortdurend onze verliezen elimineren, waardoor wij continu onze doorlooptijd verkorten. All teams begin their working day with the so-called morning market. During the morning market, the team's activities for that day are discussed, along with any messages from other disciplines. Immediately upon arrival, all goods are unpacked in our warehouse, where they undergo a quality and quantity inspection. Since 2012, the entire Oscomira group has been using the SAP warehouse management system. Once the goods have been accepted, they are registered in SAP. Door gebruik te maken van ons warehouse management systeem, hebben we onze voorraad betrouwbaarheid kunnen verhogen naar 98%. Daar zijn we heel trots op. The 5000 square meter warehouse operates using an item based system. All stock movements are registered in real time using barcode scanners. This enables flexible and reliable supply of goods to the production facilities. Een van de lean principes die we hebben toegepast is poolbevoorrading. Door van push naar pool te gaan is ons gelukt om de voorraad in productie tot 50% te verminderen. All the production processes are precisely coordinated in order to shorten the throughput time. For example, in the ASR project that you can see following this item in this news film. The production assistant indicates when new stocks from the warehouse are needed. The order carts and empty crates are collected and filled twice a day by the warehouse assistant. The warehouse supplies items to the production facilities more frequently and in smaller quantities. Reducing stocks in this way has enabled us to create more compact workspaces and increase the number of production teams. At the final workstation, the finished product is carefully packaged and provided with the correct documentation. Here again, the planning is closely coordinated with the following processes, transport to and assembly at the construction site. By applying the lean principle, Osco Mira is continually working to eliminate losses and shorten throughput time. Insurer ASR is based in Utrecht and with over 4,000 employees, it is one of the city's major employers. ASR chose Utrecht for its head office because of the central location and Utrecht's role as a financial center in the Netherlands. In 2010, the decision was made to renovate the building on the Archimedeslaan, dating from 1974, instead of building a completely new office. Reasons for this decision were the location, cost savings and the company's ambitions concerning sustainability. In the design by Jeroen van Schoten and Irene Horvus from, from Team V Architectuur, the existing concrete facade is replaced by glass outer walls, which allow more natural daylight into the office spaces. The 84,000 square meter office building will contain 2,800 flexible workstations and will be completely geared to the new way of working. As you saw in the previous item, Oscomera is involved in this large-scale renovation, having been commissioned by the Archimedes Consortium made of Ballast Nedam and Kuipers Centrale Projecten. At an early stage in the project, the team from Oscomera met with the architect to think through the technical aspects of the design. A particularly striking aspect of the building is its sawtooth facade, a complex construction and a tricky accomplishment from an aesthetical point of view. Oscomira is providing a double skin facade for the east, south and west facing sides of the building, with highly insulated triple glazing chosen for the north facing side. 
After the renovation, the building will be 50% more energy efficient. Finally, Oscomera is also supplying the skylights in the atriums and the steel structures for the winter gardens. As you can see, the construction work is fully underway, while ISR is continuing to operate in the rest of the building. The renovation is due to be completed in 2015. Since April 2013, Hitachi Data Systems has been able to use its new distribution center in Zoldbommel. Hitachi Data Systems provides IT storage technologies and data center products and services. The new distribution center is intended to serve as the EMEA region, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Steady growth in recent years meant Hitachi needed to move to larger premises. Its new building was developed by Kadons Vosthoek and it comprises a distribution center, an assembly area and office space. Oskomira Solar Power Solutions installed the largest flat roof solar park in the Netherlands on this building. The roof is fitted with more than 6,100 JA solar high efficiency solar panels, which are able to realize a total peak power of 1.6 megawatts. This is equivalent to the energy consumption of 475 households. The direct current produced is converted into alternating current by 102 SMA Sunny Mini Central Inverters and fed into Hitachi's power distribution grid, making Hitachi completely self-supporting in this respect. For this project, Oskomera Solar Power Solutions chose to use the Lightframe XL fitting system, which it developed itself. This means that the panels are fitted on the roof at an angle of 10 degrees, making it possible to achieve an extremely high energy yield per square meter of roof surface. The low tilt angle means very little extra ballast is required, making Lightframe XL extremely suitable for use on lightweight industrial roofs. The Hitachi building has been awarded the Bream NL Very Good Quality Mark as proof of its compliance with strict sustainability standards. Apart from realizing the project, Oskomira Solar Power Solutions is also responsible for carrying out the preventative and corrective maintenance required to guarantee the system's output. The Hitachi building represents a truly unique and revolutionary project in the Netherlands in the field of solar power installations, not least because the entire project was financed without any government funding.